Education is a crucial piece of the foundation upon which the American Academy of Pediatrics was built. It's also one of our core values and a vital tool in our quest to attain optimal physical, mental, and social health and well-being for all infants, children, adolescents, and young adults. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Beverly Wood, Chair of the AAP Committee on Pediatric Education, who will present this year's award. Thank you. Because the American Academy of Pediatrics has education as one of its core values, one of our opening ceremony uh, events has to do with the Education Award. This year's Education Award winner is a familiar name to all of you, and that's Larry Nazarian. Larry is, a, as you are aware, the editor of Pediatrics in Review. The AAP Teaching Award recognizes educational contributions that have made a significant impact in the broadest sense on child health and in the delivery of education across the broad spectrum of pediatrics. Dr. Nazarian surely exemplifies this. He attended college at Yale and chose for medical school the University of Rochester and he also did his residency at the University of Rochester, except for one misguided uh, year at Yale. Um, he's been in the practice of pediatrics in Rochester from 1969 until 2004. And in 2004, he semi-retired. Now, semi-retirement for Larry is probably not like retirement for anybody else, because it only makes him twice as busy as the rest of the population. And I could read to you a whole group of his distinguished awards, but I won't. Um, he received the Clinical Teaching Award at the U of R nine times since 1990. That's nine times he's received the Clinical Teaching Award. He must be an excellent clinical teacher. He, re he has received the Most Valuable Player Award in Pediatric Morning Report. Um, and he's received the Ambulatory Pediatric Association National Pediatric Community Teaching Award, uh, which he received 10 years ago, and the Gold Medal Award of the U of R, uh, which is awarded to alumni, recognizing their integrity, outstanding teaching, and their dedication to medical students. And that award he received in 2003. Um, every time someone wins the education award, I always ask them what educational activity they're proudest of having achieved. And Larry, in typical fashion, he's, he's a very modest person, said it was the honor of working with the Pediatrics and Review staff and with the staff at the AAP. Um, and just, the, just being nominated for the award was enough. And that was honor enough for him. He's a very modest guy, despite the fact that he's extremely intelligent. Uh, he has been the editor-in-chief of Pediatrics in Review. Um, all of you know Pediatrics in Review. That's the journal that comes with the great cover, uh, the kids' artwork on the cover. And he's been editor-in-chief from 2005 to 2012. He's stepping down now. For, um, and Dr. Joe Zennel is going to be the new editor, as you well know. He was the associate editor of Pediatrics in Review from 1990 to 2005. And during that time, he's devoted considerable time and effort to development of the journal and to the relevance of the content. And he's also been very interested in keeping up with new developments in publishing. He was one of the first journals, and Pediatrics in Review was one of the first journals to have a video component. Um, unfortunately, in the somewhat misguided thing, the video component was the heartbeat of a knit, um, and, and so that's unfortunate. But it proves that knits do, in fact, have a heart. Uh, Larry has been an active worker in developing guidelines and also a checklist for physicians who are willing to return to the workplace. And he's really been the person who's been the heart of this activity at the Academy, uh, with a large number of physicians returning to the workforce. Larry exemplifies the clinical educator. He's an enthusiastic and a willing educator to, to learners at all levels. And that's from medical students on up 
uh, through levels who are practicing pediatricians. And his wit and wisdom applied to pediatrics and education in pediatrics show that Larry really does care. He cares about all of us. He cares about education. And for those of you who rely on pediatrics and review for your information, uh, this is a great source. He spends a tremendous amount of his time and energy on it. Uh, so this is a very well-deserved uh, award this year to Dr. Larry Nazarian. Thank you.